Hi guys, and welcome back to Mama Just Knits. I'm Jess, coming to you from Virginia. Today is June the 24th. It is already 70 degrees here in Virginia. I think it's supposed to get up to 90, or not 90, 82. I don't like summertime. Uh, <laughs> sorry for all my summer loving friends. <laughs> this is episode 24. I can be found on Instagram and Rivalry under Mama Just Knits. I have a Rivalry group under Mama Just Knits podcast. I have a Facebook group under Mama Just Knits. Or you can email me at mamajustknits at gmail.com. For those of you who are new, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy the podcast. For those of you who are subscribers, thank you. Welcome back. I'm going to just jump right in. I don't have a whole lot to show you guys today, um, knitting wise. So I'm just going to jump right in and plow through. So I do have one finished object. I finished my dark side socks. Um, this yarn already has animal hair on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this yarn is by Knit Picks. It is Knit Picks Felici. And the color is called Dark Side. So that's why I called it the dark, my Dark Side Socks. So this is my June socks for my original box of socks. For those of you who are just joining, I have two boxes of socks that I'm doing this year. I have um, a pair that I'm just putting any socks that I make in one per month um, in that box. And then I also have a box that I am using only Lolo did it, um, her Hippo 4 line that she has. Um, I want to share this. I shared on my last one a painting. And my friend who did the last painting, Stacy, she did this painting for me. I just love it. Um, She's so talented, and I'd been eyeing this painting, or that painting. She had done some similar, and I had been eyeing it for a while. So, we did a little barter, and I got a painting, and her son, who happens to be a big fan of my knitting, is going to be getting another hat. <laughs> All right, moving along. I am so close to having this be a half-finished object. I thought about knitting on it until I got it done and then podcasting. But I have had one thing or another come up every time I've tried to podcast. So I decided to put it down, write my show notes, and podcast before something else happened and I couldn't do it. So here I am just starting on the toe of this is my... Uh, it's Hippos for Celebration by Lolo Did It. And this one is called Manny Petty Day. And I am just starting the toes. Or toe. <laughs> but this has got orange and pink and reds. Here's the other side. So... When I come on next for my next podcast, hopefully I'll have a pair done because I've got, I want to get this done by the end of June so that I could put it as my June sock in my box of socks. And that's being housed in my all time favorite, uh, ginger snap that bag with my little hedgehogs. Then, oh, Sorry, I'm trying to find where I put everything. My craft room oh, has fabric everywhere. And I'll show you why in a little bit. So I worked on my covered shawl, my third covered shawl that I've done by Alicia Plummer. I'm doing this in uh, Barocco Vintage. And this colorway is fifty one ninety two, and when I looked it up, it said it's 
Shandal, I believe is how you say the colorway. Um, it is like a brownie, or what I call spicy mustard. And this is where I left off last time. Isn't that the cutest little progress keeper? Little flower. It goes with my little progress keepers that I won. Um, so I've got a, a pretty good, pretty good bit done. I think I got a, uh, my goodness, I cannot talk today. A, um, repeat done, which is eight rows. So there's that. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, I'm trying to equal out the amount of knitting time I do on each project. And I worked on that. I did the eight row repeat one morning and thought, well, that would be a good thing to do. Try to do like a repeat every time I work on it. But then I got to thinking, um, that shawl's gonna get bigger and bigger and the repeats are gonna take me longer and longer. So I don't know if I'll keep doing going with that or not. Uh, one thing I have also decided to do, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, is I pulled out um, works in progress that have been on needles for you know years or months or what whatever. And I've decided to start going through all my bags and um, work on those and finish them so I can free up needles, of course, then so I can put more stuff on. But that's another story. All right. My memory blankets. I'm going to show you the smallest one first. Just because I only did one square on it. <sighs> this is the only square... I have done on this blanket and that's from my dark side socks so it's getting there now my other memory blanket I actually have gotten well two squares done <laughs> So I got this square and this square done. I have two more to add and then I'll finish that row. And for those of you who don't know, um, this is the memory blanket by um, Georgie Nicholson. And I just changed it up from DK weight, which I believe is what she uses to fingerling, fingering. I always want to add that L, fingering weight. So I just took all my sock scraps and scraps from friends for this blanket. My smaller one just has uh, squares in it from projects I have finished. But this one is, has all kinds. It's it's getting really big, guys. I'm so excited. So my last work in progress I'm going to show you is a blanket that I started back in 2017. Oh, let me rewind a little bit. My big memory blanket, I looked it up today. I started that on July 3rd, 2015. So on July 3rd, I will have been working on that thing for five years. This is the year I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> okay, so back to what I'm getting ready to show you. So this is my daughter Avery's um, blanket. It is called the Leaf Festival by Monica Cernay, I think is how you say her name. It is a really pretty blanket. Um, it just starts off with garter stitch. So here, 
this is actually the middle of the blanket. It's going to have a border. I went ahead and marked with my little my little angel progress keeper that somebody gave me um, where I started. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So I've gotten a couple rows done on it. It was right there. So I got a couple rows done on it. I mean, it's a hundred and some odd stitches across. So this is just something if I need something mindless, I can just sit and knit and knit and knit because every single row is knit for now. But it's one of my works in progress that have been on the needles forever. At least it feels like forever. Um, so I'm hoping to get that off the needles this year as well. Like I said, it's just going to be one of those projects that when I need some mindless TV knitting and I don't have to concentrate on a pattern, that's what I'm going to pull out. So that is all of my works in progress that I have. Um, what is next is going to be um, another sock for my regular box of socks. Another sock for my um, Hippo 4 box of socks, which I believe I'm going to do. I showed the yarn in a previous podcast. It's called um, Hippo for Bubble Bath, I believe. And I'm going to do that as the body and then do um, the yellow that I showed on my last podcast for the heels and toes. Um, other than that, I don't have any new cast-ons in mind, I don't believe. Um, I don't have a needle for a new cast-on either, or a cord. I did find the cord that I lost and had been looking for, um, but I'm not going to put anything on there just yet. I, ha I really want to start a Weekender by Andrea Mallory, but, um... I have not wound the yarn for that yet. Um, so just not going to do that right now. And that is all that I have in mind for what's next other than some shop stuff that I'm going to talk to you guys about at the end of the podcast. Um, mail call. I'm, I stuck to my um, buying guide or whatever you want to call it for this month and I only have one thing to show you guys um I did buy yarn to dye uh which I t told you guys in my last podcast that I'm planning on dyeing and selling yarn now um so that finally came in but I'm not going to show you that because it's just naked yarn right now <laughs> it has no color it's just white but the only thing that I purchased is my um subscription that I have the um, hippos for celebration and this one is called um, sorry I'm trying to get this off without pulling the other one off um, hippo for ice cream for breakfast look at all those fun colors open it up a little bit so you can see some more of the little speckles it's got all kinds of colors in there I love this because, you know, I love blues. But, yeah. So, that's the only thing I have to show you guys that I've purchased. Um, I'm trying to really cut back on the amount of yarn that I buy. Um, but I am going to keep my two subscriptions that I have, which that's one of them. And then the other one's the Downton Abbey. Um... I haven't gotten this month it usually doesn't come till the end of the month anyway so it'll probably it is the end of the month pretty much um I'll probably show that on my next podcast um it should probably arrive I'm sure any day now and that is all that I have for you guys knitting wise um so I am going to add kind of a new segment to the podcast and it's going to be shop news. Um, I mentioned on my last podcast that I am going to start dyeing yarn 
and making project bags and I'm planning to open an Et Etsy shop. So I have been crazy busy um, pretty much since my last podcast. Well, a couple days after um, making project bags. And face mask. I made some face mask. I don't I don't know that I'm gonna put the face mask in the Etsy shop. Um that's more for just uh, friends and people in my area. I mean, if somebody reaches out and says they wanna buy one of them, then that's fine. I'll, you know, sell it to them. Um But I guess since I spoke about the face mask, I can go ahead and show you the ones that I made. Oops. I made three of these and they are all sold except for one. I made one of these and then so it's reversible. They're all reversible. The sugar skull has orange on the inside. Um I think one of my daughters is gonna try to steal this one. Because they love sunflowers. And then I've got some little beehives with some bees. <laughs> Flamingos. Oops. Got a little fuzzy on it. And another beehive with bees. So those are all the face masks I made. Now I'm going to show you all the project bags I made, which, bear with me, it's a lot. So this one I made, this one is not for sale because this is for my mom. She um, used to collect roosters whenever I was younger. And as soon as I saw this fabric, I thought I have to make something for my mom out of that. So how cute is that? And it's got a big cat fur on it so that one is for my mama and then I made two of some of these um, I have this ooh, I have this one which I am looking at it really needs to be ironed I iron all the fabric but this one needs it again so this one I made with this handle. And <laughs> when I first started making the bags, my 14 or 15 year old Natalie, she said, you better make a practice one, mom, because it's been a while since you made it. So this is my practice one. And I'm glad I listened to her because I had to make it three times or no, I had to rip it, rip it some parts out twice. And this one I made with a solid color, solid colored handle. Um, and the reason why I had to do this one twice, um, one of the mistakes I made, and this is the reason why I'm keeping this bag, is I put the interfacing on the, the inside layer, and it's supposed to go on the outside layer, just to make the bags stand up, which this one still stands up, so technically I could still sell it, but inside that color it's the same as the other bag um where am i gonna put these okay. um then i made and this one i think is going to be popular I feel bad because i only have two but a lot of people have shown interest in this and that's the sugar skull bags they both have the same handles. Oh, and the, the inside of these are the bright orange to match the bright orange flowers. And then I have this one, which I love coffee, so I really thought about keeping this one, but I'm not. And then I have 
this one, which is more of the beehives with the bees. This one also, oh, the inside of this one is cute. Well, wow. yeah, little polka dots. And the inside of this one has just the solid yellow. This is one of my favorites. I just love this one with the butterflies and the birds and daisies, sunflowers. For all my gardening and knitting friends. And then the inside is that really pretty flowers. Bees and sunflowers. Can't go wrong. Inside of this one is a bright gold. These are all bags that I'm going to be putting in the shop. And I'm planning on opening the, the shop up hopefully July 1st. I just love this. So cute. So summery. The inside of that is a really pretty pink. And on this one, I put a solid color handle. Most of the others have their same fabric as the, or the outside of the bag fabric as the handle. So yeah, that are, those are all the bags I have that will be going in the shop um, July 1st. Um, pretty excited. I still haven't dyed my yarn. Um, I was waiting on a few things to come in, like, you know, the yarn and the dye, <laughs> the two important things. Um, and I have since gotten both of those in. So I believe this weekend is when I'm going to start dyeing yarn. I'm super excited. Um, I have, I only have two colors at the moment, but, and I have four skeins, uh, wanted to start off small just in case I didn't like it. I think I'm going to enjoy doing it though. Um, I already have in mind what I'm going to put on each of those four skeins and I already have plans to order more yarn and more dye. So I'm excited. I can't wait to share, um, the yarn with you guys. And I've got lots of ideas floating around in my head as to what to dye, what to speckle and all that good stuff. Um, I will tell you that the four that I have coming, I'm planning on doing some solid, or the four I have, I'm planning on doing some solids, some speckles, and maybe even some variegated. Um, that last scheme that I have, I haven't totally decided, but I think it's going to be variegated. But we'll see super excited. Um, I'm enjoying making the bags and I can't wait to open my shop and share everything with you guys. Super excited. I know I've said, I probably have said excited so many times during this video, but I am. I'm excited. I'm going to say it again. And that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I haven't gotten to do a whole lot of knitting because I've been making bags and that takes a lot of work. It takes, you know, ironing and cutting and sewing and a lot of work, but I enjoy doing it. And I have this beautiful painting to look at now and it makes me happy and cheerful and I am slowly but surely piecing together my craft room, although I won't show it to you. It is still kind of a wreck. Still kind of organizing. Um, I need to get some bins so that I can, not bins, but the uh, baskets that you see for these cubbies. Um, I need to get some more of those, but Target's been sold out. <laughs> um, stores have been sold out of some weird things, like 
towels and stuff that you wouldn't think they were sold out of. Anyway, we'll skip that. Um, but yeah, it's slowly but surely coming together. Like I said, I'm super excited to share my bags with you guys. I'm excited to open my shop. Um, excited. That's <laughs> the word, the word of the day. <laughs> well, I don't have anything else to talk about. And I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to me ramble. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again for coming by. And keep on crafting. <laughs>